Times change, but the desire to have fun and enjoy life remains eternal. We offer a look at vintage photos that not only have historical value, but also convey the fun and daring that filled the entertainment of people of the last century. Unbridled dancing is what young people love so much, and it doesn't matter what century it is. And in this 1962 photo, the glamorous bunny girl wander rings a gong for breakfast at Hugh Hefner's Playboy Club. Pretty girls and cool cars, those two things have always been inseparable. Did you know that in the late 60s in the United States, musical groups of girls began to appear on stage topless? This is one of the most innocent outfits, the ladybirds. Being able to enjoy every moment of life is a gift that not everyone appreciates. A new radio, a favorite man next to you, the sun and the splash of the waves. What else do you need to be happy? The collision of two generations is a phenomenon everywhere. The photo shows the streets of New York in the 80s. The photo was taken during a costume ball in 1975. Fashion designer Halston and his bunnies arrive at the Magic, Fantasy, and Dreams costume ball. We have seen Marilyn Different, and Glamorous Diva, and Charming Fool, and Defenseless Ordinary Woman. But here Marilyn Monroe is just doing a headstand. Miss Radiation winner Marguerite Piazza, Las Vegas, 1955. Soldiers, inspired by the beauty of singer Marguerite Piazza, named her the winner and presented her with a crown that looks like a nuclear explosion pole. A race of waitresses with drinks. New York, 1967. The picture was taken by Modern Man magazine. It would certainly be interesting to see such a competition. Women wearing unusually large pants, America, 1930. Having fun with your girlfriends is always a nice thing to do. Now that's a real and unusual date. You can look at this photo for hours. So many different interesting details. Also, everything here is beautiful and aesthetic, both the front and the background. Unfortunately, we couldn't find out the background of this photo. Either the contest was so fun, or the girls were very hungry, but it turned out funny. What to do young parents, if you still want to have fun, and with a baby to sit with no one, take him everywhere with you. This invention doesn't look safe. Hopefully, this is either a staged photo or this device did not work. The most important thing is to stay young at heart. Then at any age, it will be interesting and fun to live. People used to have such dexterity. I can't compare it to what people are capable of nowadays. Parties of the past were characterized by a special scale. Every self-respecting aristocrat had to do something to stand out.
Girls dancers used to be dress no more modest compared to today's performances of artists. So needless to say, everyone used to be chaste in the past. Hollywood actress Judy Garland dances with jitterbug champion Ray Hirsch at her home in Los Angeles. The photo was taken in 1940. Oh, those puffy skirts made of airy fabrics. Always trying to embarrass you. It's amazing how these people manage to pull off a stunt like this. Today they would be accused of using Photoshop or artificial intelligence. But before, there were no such possibilities, which means that the photo is genuine. It's vital for girls to have a hen party at least once in a while. Retro circus is crazy. How did kids not used to be afraid to go to them? That's for sure, who had nerves of iron. The roller coaster is not for the cowardly, especially since the safety requirements were so much lower back then. Brigitte Bardot was not embarrassed to be herself. She never seemed vulgar because she had a natural charm about her. Actress Gloria Talbot on the set of a movie about space. The tastes of some of the beauties from the past were quite specific. In 1949, the adhesive bra was introduced. Each cup was attached to the breast without straps and promised more freedom and comfort. Vintage postcards of ambiguous content always depicted models in stockings. In the 19th and 20th centuries, this article of clothing was a symbol of sexuality. Women from the Milford Republican Club explore the world of male entertainment in the 1940s. First in line was striptease, 